Well, we are not going to get much done with this weather. It has been a really rainy couple of days and it's days like this that I am very thankful that I have an electric clothes dryer. We have gotten a lot of rain. When I have enough pressure in the rain barrel, I can water the stuff from right from the green barrel with the hose because it has enough pressure to push the water all the way through it. When it is super rainy outside, don't forget to water your greenhouse plants because even though it's rainy and disgusting outside for the last couple days, there's no rain inside the greenhouse and these plants are getting dried out. I have been popping out when the rain subsides a little bit and throwing a few things in the ground. It's great weather to plant stuff if you don't mind getting a little bit wet. I'm hoping while I'm out here it doesn't start pouring down rain again so I don't have to leave the camera out here and run back inside the house without it. It's been where it's like downpouring and then it stops and then it's downpouring and then it stops. So the whole yard is like a giant puddle right now. Check out this orange mint I got from a trade though. It is looking really good. I might divide that up. Um, the apple mint, however, I think I killed it. I don't know what it is about mints. I am not good at keeping mints alive. These are little strawberries in here from seed. The hibiscus never came up. Those seeds were like a year and a half old, maybe two years old. So I may look at buying a hibiscus because I recently read that it's a specific type of hibiscus that you need for making teas. This weather combined with all of the pollen has hit us all with this awful cold. My son is getting hit the worst. He always gets hit the worst out of everybody because he doesn't know how to blow his nose and he won't sleep sitting up. So he lays flat and then he's just having a really hard time every time he gets any kind of like respiratory or cold or anything like that. So if you think of us, Send some healing vibes and some prayers that everybody will get better soon. It looks like we've got some ants moving into the greenhouse too, so I'm going to get some boiling water and get those taken care of because I do not want to get bit up. I might have to make a run for it. All right, everything in here looks sufficiently watered, so it should be good. Tomorrow it's supposed to be rainy again too. So we'll see what I can get done outside, but I'm kind of focusing on some indoor stuff with the rain, organizing the garage, cleaning out some stuff. It's a good time to take a break from the garden. Sometimes the rainy days are my reminder that it's time to clean the house and not be outside all day. And the sun is back. Somebody told me today that we got four and a half inches of rain in the last two days. Uh, I was just kind of popping some stuff in the ground when it wasn't raining too bad. Not a lot, just a little bit. So I want to check on everything in the garden and then try to get some more stuff put in the ground. There's a lot of ant hills popping up all over the place. That's pretty typical when we have a lot of rain. Hello, you pretty kitties. Are you leaving my plants alone? Some of my tomatoes and peppers, specifically my Roma tomatoes, my jalapeno peppers, and a couple of my Mexico midget cherry tomatoes really, really desperately want to get out of their pots. Now it is a little bit of a risk putting these in the ground right now. Our last frost date was April 7th, but the last few years we have had some very late frosts. Um, and when I started putting stuff in the ground, there was no temperatures during the night under 50 predicted, but now there are some temperatures that are predicted to be 44 two nights this week, end of this week. So it's a little bit of a risk. But this year I am okay with taking that risk. I planted lots of extra, so we're gonna go with it. Very windy. It takes so long to get everything in the ground 
Uh, next year, I think I'm gonna wait like two or three weeks to start my seeds because they grew really fast this year in the potting soil that I picked. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then what I'll do is rake up some leaves from the woods behind the house and then mulch that with the leaves. You can see I get super official when I'm plotting out where I'm gonna put my plants for spacing. I'll just use my hands or my feet depending on the spacing I need for different things in the garden. I don't get out a ruler and make it official. Oh, this sunshine feels so good, especially after all those rainy days. Get some vitamin D. Okay, so this is totally weird, which, what about me is weird, but I was listening to the radio the other day, and they were talking about this article that came out that plants actually, like, scream when they get cut. It's just in a frequency that we can't hear with human ears, and they have a link that you can listen to what plants sound like. It's like a lot of clicking noises. It was kind of weird, but could you imagine while we're planting tomatoes, when we're pulling off all the little side stems that we don't want on there, that they would like scream every time? Oh my goodness, it's kind of creepy to think about. think that's all of the romas going in there. I'm not planning on trellising those. Um, I'm gonna figure out what to do with the rest of my Henderson tomatoes because I don't have any more trellises and I don't have funds to get more for this year. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with those. I'm figure out what to do with you guys too. Maybe start another asparagus patch. I think those cabbages are gonna be chicken food. 
maybe what I could do since I don't need the double fence there and I'm planning on cutting the sides and taking out this inner fence maybe I could take some of these t-posts and when I cut this fence put some t-posts down through here and then just like zip tie that fence or use the t-clips and put it all the way down so then I can trellis it to that fencing that might work check this out I think this is the biggest wild onion I have ever pulled out. That rivals some of the ones that I grow from seed. I might just give up trying to grow onions and just harvest wild onions every spring. I want to check on one last thing before I sign off today. I put some cucumbers out here right before the rain started, just seeds. And I'm sure nothing is happening, but nope, nothing yet. But you know, two days, you're like, where's my seeds at? Well, I know it wasn't a whole lot, but I feel accomplished especially for being gone most of the day again. And stuff is just exploding in the garden, so super excited. Before we know it, we're gonna be wishing it was winter because it's gonna be super hot. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to water your plants. If it's raining and you have them in the greenhouse and they're not getting watered, it's easy to forget about them. I will see you next time.